everybody welcome to this week's Laura sketches reimagined so I'm showing you here some of the items we're going to be playing with today um, I have our sketch for the week and I'm gonna be using a uh, Cocoa Vanilla Studios endless summer line and I did a bit of cheating <laughs> so part of the sketch this particular sketch that I loved were the triangles in the background and so I went ahead and went into my Silhouette Studio software and I um, kind of sized up the triangles the way they are sized in the sketch and cut them out so that I had them because I just loved those triangles. They were so cool. So today's the third Wednesday of the month with month, which means we do have a guest designer. Our guest designer for the month for this month is my dear friend Kelly. She lives in Texas, but I will link her channel down below and you simply must go and say hello to her. I'm hoping uh, she has power and her video will be up very soon if it is not up already. I'm going to start by creating a base for my layout. So I want to use a 12 by 12 sheet of this speckle tone cardstock from the cardstock warehouse. This is my favorite, favorite, like off white creamy cardstock. I'm just going to cut it down to about 11 and a half by 11 and a half. And that's going to give me a nice border around my whole page of this diagonal stripe from the Cocoa Vanilla Studio Endless Summer line. I have two 12 by 12 photos here and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to follow this sketch exactly, <laughs> which I know um, is not my usual. I usually try to alter it or move it around a little bit or reimagine it in some way, but this particular sketch just spoke to me. Like I just loved it. And so I decided that I wanted to follow the sketch fairly exactly. The only thing I am going to do is I'm going to add some journaling because I do have a story to tell about these photos and so I wanted to go ahead and uh, include some journaling in my layout. So I'm just going ahead and kind of grabbing up these little triangles, fitting them in uh, exactly the way they are <laughs> on the sketch and uh, then I'm going to go ahead and put them down and also glue down my photos. Before I get too far though, I wanna make sure to add my uh, stamping. So I have my two photos here where I want them to be. I'm gonna use a pencil to kind of mark where I wanna do some stamping. So the sketch calls for what looks like uh, paint splatters or um, like some mixed media. I didn't really want to do any heavy mixed media on this page, but I had this really cool stamp from Visible Image. You're going to see it here in just a second. So the entire stamp set that I'm using is like super masculine and very, very guitar themed. It's very much like a rock star layout uh, stamp set. But one of the stamps is this little like textured kind of blotchy, almost mixed media like type of shape. And so I'm going to use that. I have some hot tub and some sandcastle ink from Catherine Puller. And those two colors work perfectly with this Endless Summer collection from Coco Vanilla Studio. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create those um, mixed media areas that are part of the sketch. I'm gonna use my stamp set to add them. And I really like the texture, the little bit of more color that this provides. This is a really great stamp. Uh, if you are someone who likes the look of paints or texture, but not so much the look of making a mess. And because the stamp is messy and I have no, I don't need to get crisp, clean images for this. I just used an acrylic block to make these to stamp on my page. And now I can go ahead and just kind of place all of these triangles and photos back down onto my layout and exactly where I want them. I'm using the pencil marks that I made to get the placement right. And I think I turned this around a couple times and I use my T-square ruler uh, because this particular layout, you kind of really need everything to be on the same line and straight or it's going to look a bit awkward or very crooked when you're finished. 
So what I did here was I am going to cut apart this little cut apart piece from the collection. I'm getting rid of the flamingo, trimming it down a bit. And then you can see here, I've added my journaling and my date to my photo. Next up, there is this uh, vertical horizontal piece strip that the title piece sits on in the sketch. So I decided to use this really fun wood grain as that element and then I can sit my photo or my letters my letter stickers or my title right on top of that strip next up I'm going to go ahead and grab the alphabets that came with this collection I have loads of these alphabets left so I'm going to use them I'm going to use the alternating one colors and the title of my layout is going to be see my picture <laughs> So the story behind these photos is uh, we were doing a Zoom meeting. My sister was there and I was talking. And while I was talking, my niece, Ella, who had been drawing, got up and put her her picture right up against the TV and was going, see my picture, Aunt Sarah, Aunt Sarah, see my picture, see my picture. So my sister snapped pictures of that and sent it to me. I turned them black and white because they were super colorful all of her little like toddler toys are in the photo and there was just no way <laughs> it was going to be too, too busy. And I really wanted to use this softer collection to go with the photos. So I turned them to black and white to help, um, keep do that. And you can see here, it looks on the picture or on the video, like the alphabet stickers seem to be blending right in. In real life, you can see them quite clearly. They are still, this whole collection is very, very soft. So um, there isn't a lot of contrast, but that's the way the collection is designed. So I'm just going to, I'm going to use that. I love it. It's beautiful and I'm almost done. I've almost killed it. So in this collection, I still have this little film strip die cut. And I'll be honest, the reason I still have this film strip die cut is because I have been dreading doing this. The little holes in the film strip are not cut out. So you have to like poke them out and get them out. And um, this took me forever. It was a little, it was just, I, but I was determined I wanted to use the film strip, get it used up, out of the stash, out of the collection, but oh, it's so tedious. As I kind of get this layout together, I have some wood veneer pieces. I have some die cut pieces to create just a couple of little clusters. I wanted to let you know that if you are on YouTube, if you have a YouTube channel and you would be interested in joining me uh, during April or May or June for my Laura's Sketches Reimagined, please feel free to check the description box and for contact information and let me know. You can always private message me if you're friends with me on Facebook or if you're in um if you follow me on Instagram, you can direct message me there as well. Uh, I would really like to just have people who have YouTube channels. I don't care if you have one subscriber or 5,000, just. <laughs> but it's so much easier since this is a very kind of YouTube-centric uh, video series. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier if we have uh, people or creatives that have YouTube channels to join me. So... Uh, but yes, I am looking for a guest designer, two for April, two for May, two for June. They would, the videos would be due to me by the third week, third Wednesday of each month. So third Wednesday in April, third Wednesday in May, third Wednesday in June. So if you're interested in that, you know, please feel free to contact me through any of my social media and let me know. And that is where we're going to call this layout done. Be sure to head over and take a peek at Kelly's channel. Um, I'm hoping her video is up by the time this goes live. And I will talk to you all again very, very soon. Bye.